Hello, my name is Joshua Mugabe. I welcome you to Amphids. There are many species of Amphids. One of the most common is the green leaf, which is often seen on roses. So the most common aphid is the one that is called the green leaf or the green fly, sorry, green fly. And it is always seen on roses. You can see it on green vegetables like cabbages. You can see it on uh, other small vegetables. It can be also on uh, passion fruits and so on. Those are the amphids. If you look at the structure of the amphid here, you will see that it has got the, the compound eye, as the compound eye, and it has got the antennae, it has the proboscis, and the proboscis is the one used for sucking. It is wingless. It is wingless, and this one is a female amphid. At this stage in its life cycle, the amphid is wingless female, and it reproduces not by laying eggs, but by giving birth to a fully formed nymph, which are in effect miniature adults. So our amphid, the amphid does not lay eggs. It doesn't lay eggs, but it produces or it gives birth to a miniature adult which we call the nymph so it is one of the small organism that does not lay eggs but it gives birth to a nymph the amphids and the leaves they feed on plant leaves and buds by sucking the sap by means of piercing and sucking mouth parts the proboscis so the amphids and the leaves they do feed on plant sap which is mainly coming from the leaves and the buds and they use their mouth part, which is a piercing and sucking mouth part, or what we call the proboscis. Let us look at the different parts of the mouth part, or what we are referring to as the proboscis. It has got what we call the salivary and food channel. Saliva and food channel is this middle terminal here. That middle terminal there is the salivary and the food channel this one that goes down that one which goes down is what we are calling the salivary and the food channel that middle part there it is the salivary and the food channel then it also has the lambium covering the mouth part the lambium is this outer part that we are seeing outside. The outer part, the whole of this one is the lambium. All of that part here is the lambium and it is covering the mouth part. And it also comes outside this side. This whole part that you are seeing covering the inside part is the Lambium and on the other side it is this part here all that part is the lambium and it covers the mouth parts 
Then we have the piercing and sucking mouth parts. The piercing and sucking mouth parts, they are these parts that we are seeing here. This part here outside, which is covering the saliva and the, the food channel. That part here is all of it, what we are calling the piercing and sucking mouth part. That part there. So we have outside, this outside part, which we have labeled blue. That one is what we are calling the lambium. And it encloses the mouth parts. It covers the mouth parts. Then we have the next layer, which is the piercing and sucking mouth part. This one, which we are trying to paint green. And then inside them, in the middle, that's where we have the saliva and channel, food channel, which is in the middle. When the amphids alive on a suitable leaf, they thrust their proboscis through the leaf tissue until it reaches the food carrying cells in a vein. So when you look here, we are having our amphid here. And this is the proboscis. So this proboscis is thrust and it is used to pierce through the leaf and it enters up to the food carrying cells around here. Then after that, it will start sucking the food nutrient to go through the proboscis and then it is taken into the gut. Saliva is injected, which begins the process of digestion, and the fluid is sucked up through the proboscis into the gut. So what is happening here is that uh, this amphid is going to pierce the leaf using its uh, proboscis until when it reaches the food culling cells. Now, when it reaches the food culling cells, it is going now to inject there the saliva. When it injects there the saliva, digestion is going to take place. And when digestion takes place, now the proboscis is going now to suck the digested fluid and the digested fluid will be sucked into the proboscis and when it is sucked into the proboscis it will be carried to the gut the process reduces the plant food supply and makes the leaves to curl up and dry out. The amphids may also introduce harmful viruses to, into the plant, so spreading the disease. So when the amphid has sucked the food nutrient from the leaf, and then it has been taken into the gut, what is going to happen to the leaf? The leaf is going to curl. It will curl. And when it curls, it is going to end up drying. And not only that one, the, the, the amphid may introduce harmful viruses into the leaf. It may introduce the viruses into the leaf and these viruses are going now to spread the disease to the whole plant.
The plant sap contains abundant sugars, but few amino acids. The excess sugar solution is ejected from the anus as honey dew. So we are seeing here that the insect is the uh, aphid is going to suck the juice or the uh, sugars. When it sucks the sugars, it is going to suck excess. Now what will happen is that it is going to release the excess out as the honey dew through the anus. The fluid is keenly sought by ants, which are often seen in conjunction with the amphid infection. So you will see in most of the plants that are infected with the amphids, you will also find there the, why the ants. Now these ants, they come to suck the honeydew. So they are always together. When the aphid feeds on the plant and it takes in the sugars, the excess is going to be released out of the aphid in the form of honeydew. And this honeydew is going to attract the ants. The ants are going to suck the honeydew, which is excess coming out of the aphid. So you will see them always moving together or staying in the same area. Where you see the ants, you expect there to be the aphid because the ants are seeking the honeydew. The honeydew, if the honeydew remains on the leaves, it encourages the growth of mildew fungus. So if this honeydew, when the amphids are sucking and they are releasing the excess and then the excess remains on the leaf, it is going to encourage the growth of dew, what we are calling the melody dew. It is a fungus, it will grow on the, the leaf and uh, that one will affect the leaf. Hello, thank you very much for participating in Amphids. Please do like, share and subscribe.